Right, back out fishing, back at Norton Disney, doing 24 hours on Hodgetts Lake. It's uh, it's Sunday, checked out the Instagram feed, Saturday night, about 8 o'clock, and it said 71 swims available tomorrow. So, yeah, I thought, why not? Weather's glorious. Loads of swims available, but because I've come with my door, I thought, I want to get on the easy lake. There's over a 1,000 fish in 10 acres on Hodgetts, and I thought... I'll give it a whirl on here and see if we can catch a few. Got in the corner, this is my favourite peg on Hodgetts Lake. Got two rods, it's 13 wraps, down to that corner there. Not far from the marginal shelf, just on a lovely gravel area. That's where I caught like seven fish last time and I think I lost about five as well. So yeah, got two rods on that zone. One on a white 12 mil pop-up, one on a pink one. Spotted out, 15 spots of house pellet seven spots of sweet corn as well and yeah i thought i'd give that a whirl this time see the uh, swans are helping themselves so a bit of overspill the other rod is at f just short of four wraps straight out in front on a lovely bit of gravel just on the marginal shelf so yeah if for 24 see how we can get on i've bought five key of pellet like i usually do it's You've got to buy it really because everybody seems to buy some and I think that much pellet goes in, the fish will raid on this stuff and you're daft if you don't buy it. It's it's £10 for 5k. You've just gotta you've gotta get some really. But yeah. Another thing they've done, what they do now, is issue you with a sticker. For your bucket because they've been getting a bit of a few issues with people walking around with four or five buckets and claiming loads of swims so you get one sticker and that's the only bucket you can put in a swim to reserve a swim between the hours of 7 a.m to 8 p.m any buckets in any swims that haven't got the sticker on they will be taken away and thrown away that's what the guy said, disposed of. So, yeah, they must have had a lot of issues with people just lately. But, yeah, it's not a bad thing. I never claim one swim at once. So, I walk around with my bucket, find my spot, and that'll do me. But it's not a bad idea, I suppose. Right, I'll show you the rig I'm using this trip. Nothing fancy. Got all three on a Ronnie rig using sixes, barbless socks and fours. Coated hook link, just so it helps reset if I get picked up. Cord a leg clip, bit of putty. The only thing I do a little bit different, which I've mentioned before on one of my videos, I do set this bead, this stop, the opposite way round. So you've got the bigger surface area towards the point of the hook the theory behind that is, how, well, how I think it works is the fish hooks itself, this penetrates into the lip. Because you've got a bigger surface area here, I think it's more likely and easier for it to push the bead round and for it to get nailed and stay nailed. It did suffer from quite a few up pulls, dropping fish, and since I've started swapping that bead round the opposite way, I do seem to nail a few more and catch more than I was doing fishing it the opposite way. And I also think with a bait screw, with a pop-up, it just sits that little bit better. And the pop-up totally masks the hook when you look at it from a bird's eye view. So, yeah, that's the rig mechanics of it. That's how I think it works. And it's definitely improved things. It is difficult on a water where you've got to use barbless hooks. So, yeah. That's the rig. Hopefully all this talk about rigs actually catch some on them, but yeah, we'll see. I just spoke to Jimmy, the bailiff. He said it's not fishing particularly well. None of the lakes have been for the last week. So uh, even though I'm on the easy lake, I'm up against it. He has put me onto a new spot I wasn't aware of. He reckons there's a bit of a car pole. It's a, that little notch in the trees there stood in front of this swim casting out at 14 wraps so um, 
put put Ronnie on that. I've not spotted out art. I've just put a single on it for now. I have swapped my right hand rod as well for a zig with a white one on. There's been that many fish mooching about and boshing out on top. I'm I'm gonna give us give zigs a go all day and uh, see what happens. Since I've put it out here, I've had two fish swirl right over it as well. So I don't know if I've been done, the spooked off it or what, but yeah, it's on the adjustable zig, fishing a foot off the top. So we'll see, but it, I am still confident, even though we said it's not fishing that well. I mean, my spot down that margin there, where I've spotted all the bait out, the wind's pushing down there, and I do think them fish will switch on at some point. If I don't do any good today, I'm sure it'll be sort of first thing in the morning, so keep at it. There's loads of fish splashing out, boshing out on top. As soon as I put that zig out on that right hand rod, Seems to attract the fish straight to it. I get a couple of shows straight over the top. I don't know if they're aborted takes or what, or they just see it and spook off it, and then nothing else happens. But I'm gonna persevere with the zig because I'm pretty sure that's your best chance of a bite at the moment. I've been watching everybody else on here. There's what? There's nine people on. No, there isn't there's eight people on and as far as I can see today nobody's caught anything so it's not fishing particularly well we're in that crossover period now where oh, I want you another one just boshed out where autumn is just around the corner and the light levels are changing I don't know if you saw that the temperature is changing I think big baiting, putting lots out, just really isn't the one. And I have put quite a bit down that margin on my banker spot, so yeah, it doesn't seem the one. But all them rods are out there on the dance floor. There's every chance of something happening. But I just, at the minute, I feel if it's going to happen, it's going to be a zig because they're just typical. I can't get one on film, but they are showing all over but yeah keep at it and fingers crossed something happens soon wow. one of my pals gave me this tip the other week instead of using a foam nugget to stick your zig to there to the float use a bit of tape simply so catch this do an overhand knot Nice simple overhand knot onto the float. Pull it tight. Do it again. And then attach your hook to the tag end. Like so. Since I've been doing that this trip, I've not had one tangle. Happy days. I think it's definitely the right thing to do, keep persevering with the cigs. The lads in that corner there, they've caught a couple on adjustable zigs, so I've just changed my colour from a white pop-up to a bit of yellow foam. And that has been cast right there where them rings are showing. Can you just make that out? There, so. Hopefully, I've now got the colour right. Bit of yellow foam. I can at least get a pick up. But yeah, they've had two on the adjustable zigs in the last, well, the caught one, lost one. That's in the last half an hour, so. Yeah, keep, keep ringing the changes. Find out what these carp actually want. And it does seem like a zig. The dolphin and out all over the shop. I'm amazed I haven't caught some already, but 
It has been fishing pretty moody, pretty tough. And them lads on the zig over there are the only ones to have caught anything, to my knowledge, today. So, yeah, I'm in two minds. We'll have to leave a zig out all night, actually. Don't usually do that, but... Hmm, yeah, might do. We will see. That's the track to the car park. Van's just left of where that guy's just walking now. So I'm mega close this trip in the first swim on Hodgetts. Absolute mega, mega evening. Really nice now. Winds drop right down. Fish boshing all over. Still can't manage to catch one like, even though there's a thousand fish in here. But yeah, I'm sure I will. I'm sure something will happen for morning or through the night. As turn as like. It's pretty full. I've noticed petites, petits, and turners are the two lakes on this complex that seem to be pretty full most of the time even though there was loads of availability today when i've come on there was only sort of three swims on turner's lake and i didn't really fancy them because i thought i've come in with my daughter i've got to go on the easier lake to try and get something but as it's working out it's not playing ball and it's not being very easy seen on here have both been on zig so they're certainly not getting the reds down at the minute but there's plenty of time left and hopefully something happens soon Are you having fun? Yes. Good. That's what it's all about. As long as you're enjoying yourself, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. <laughs> you sure you are? Yeah. yeah. We just need to catch something, don't we? Yeah. I'm sure it'll come. I hope it does anyway. Another tidy swim, this one. So each swim comes with a mat, retention sling, landing net so you're well catered for just can't these fish don't want to bosh when I start filming typical huh right at the end of the first day getting a few little liners on my right hand rod down that margin so hopefully finally the fish have come in on the bait so I'm not going to do any more filming tonight unless I actually catch something. Failing that guys, I'll catch up with you in the morning. Hopefully soon with a lovely carp. Well it's been a fun 24 hours. Lost that fish at 6 o'clock this morning. It'd be nice if we would have actually caught one because that's why I brought my daughter on this lake because it's supposed to be easier and it? to be honest it's beat me up a bit. I've had a zig right in the zone, fish boshing all around it and just nothing's happened. The, the people that I've caught on this trip have all caught on zigs, so yeah, I probably should have had one of them on from the start. 
work through the colours until I found what, what they actually wanted to take off top. It has seemed like the fish have been feeding on top. I've seen them gliding out and they've been on a fly actually. They've, they've been taking some and like I say, the lads that are caught over there, oh, see that one, have all caught on zig. So go and leave the rods in for 20 more minutes. If nothing happens, I'm going to call it a day and not going to do any more filming. But thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I'll stick a subscribe button there. If you could subscribe to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. Tight lines, everybody. See you on the next one.